uh, of uh, the national carrier Kenya Airways, commonly known as KQ. Now, away from that, let's talk about matters of fuel prices in the country, and it, oh, it's gone high. It's gone up, actually, according to the revised figures from the Energy and Reg Petroleum Regulatory Authority that was released yesterday. Now, the changes in the maximum allowed petroleum pan prices will see Kenyans pay an extra 11 shillings and 38 cents cents per litre for super petrol, uh, 17 shillings and 30 cents uh, diesel, and uh, 2 shillings and 98 cents per litre for uh, kerosene in Nakuru. Super petrol will retail at 100 shillings and 26 cents per litre, while diesel and kerosene will sell at 91 shillings and 83 cents and 65 shillings and 47 cents per litre, respectively. So I'd like us to link up with my colleague, Alan Ochanda, man on the ground in Nakuru County. Alan Ochanda, so now... Uh, Kenyans have to embrace for um, uh, higher fuel prices. Unlike before during COVID-19, people are paying around 89 shillings, 80 shillings uh, for petrol. So talk to us about this. Well, looking at the prices of the uh, petroleum product is that uh, whenever they skyrocket, then uh, they, they have a, uh, a spiral effect in all the products in the market. And so here in Nakuru, we've been talking to the motorists, the motorcyclists, and they are saying that they will be forced to just hike the fares across all the routes that they ply because remember that uh, at the onset of the COVID-19 there was a regulation by World Health Organization and so it was implemented by the government through the Ministry of Health that each matatu that carries 14 passengers will be required to carry at, uh, at most eight passengers and so they are saying that they will be forced because uh, looking at such an, a minimum number of passengers they are supposed to be carrying then with the hiking of the fares across all the routes that they ply they will be forced to just hike all their prices, all their fair prices. So we've caught up with some of the motorists here. Maybe you just tell us your name. Tuambe jina lako, utuweleze kwamba wewe ni wapiki. Piki ya madereva wa gari, na utuweleze kwamba itakuwa inawaathiri vipi hapa katika mji wa Nakuru. Asanti, majina yangu ni James Mwaniki, mkaaji wa hapa Nakuru. Na ni mmoja wanaofanya kazi ya uchukuzi katika mji huu wa Nakuru. Jambo hili la kuongeza mafuta ya petrol na diesel limetutia kiwewe sana. Baada ya kujua kwamba sisi ambao tunafanya idara hii ya uchukuzi ni kwamba kama magali saa hii inabeba watu saba ama watu wanane. Na pia unajua kwamba imekuwa chini kidogo kwa sababu mafuta imekuwa chini. Lakini kwa hivi sasa jinsi ambavyo mafuta imeweza kuongezewa na kufika shilingi mia moja kwa petroli na kufika shilingi tisaini na moja kwa mafuta ya diesel imetutia kiwewe kumaanisha kwamba hata abiria wetu itabidi kwamba wameongezewa bei ya usafiri wale ambao tunaofanya kama kazi ya pikipiki mimi nafanya kazi ya pikipiki hapa Nakuru na nikumaanisha tunabeba mteja mmoja na ikiwa tunabeba customer mmoja na mafuta yameongezewa itabidi pia tuwaongezee price ili nao waweze kufika mahali ambapo wanahitaji na jambo lingine ni kwamba chochote katika nchi yetu ya Kenya mizigo kufika hapa Nakuru vyakula tunavyovitumia kila siku vinatumia mafuta kwa hivyo kama mafuta imekuwa juu nikumaanisha kwamba kila kitu kitakuwa na beikari vyakula vitakuwa beikari usafiri utakuwa beikari Kwa hivyo ombi letu ni kwamba serikali iweze kutuangushia bei ya petroli na diesel na pia mafuta ya kerosene ili tuweze kufanya biashara katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Na, na mtunao pia wenzako hapa. Pengine utatuliza unafanya kazi gani kwa sababu pia hata kama ni pikipiki gari ama abiria wa kawaida lazima itakuathiri moja kwa moja au kwa njia nyingine. Utueleze itakuwa inawaathiri vipi? Mimi nasoma wa KU. Sasa mimi ni haribu kwanza mambo ya masomo. Alafu kitu ya pili Hii mambo ya corona mafuta tunazungumzia mafuta kwa ile kuongezeka kwa bei ya mafuta hapa yeah, katika mji wa Nakuru ama katika taifa zima sasa mafuta itabidi sasa mavijana wa boda boda watatu overcharge alafu sasa inabidi sasa tutanyongwanga sababu magizani kabla 30 hivi sasa itabidi tutatembea na hapa wakora ni wengi sababu ya corona tukaa mimi saizi hata niko na ubinamba kunyongwa tu town katikati sababu mavijana wako na njaa sasa hii njaa imefanya Yaani kila kitu iko mbaya tu sana. Vile watu tena wamesema wavai mask na mafuta imepanda. Sasa unaona tuta dead sababu hata hatuwezi afford sabuni. Sawa sawa fit sana. Uh, uh, okay, well, looking at the uh, grievances from uh, across the divide here, across of course the industry here, we've been talking to the drivers, the motorcyclists here, and of course those who are actually the, the uh, primarily the passengers who, who are actually depending on the fuel to just travel because remember that uh, for anything to move from point A to point B, they require the petrol, the diesel and so moving forward they may just uh, really uh, be uh, encountering quite 
Egypt are had situations here, of course, uh, with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic here that began in March. They are saying that this is now a cat and mouse game because when uh, uh, travels, uh, when travels were just uh, uh, suspended in March, they saw the uh, the falling of the prices of the petroleum products. But they are now reading malice or just reading some uh, some games in the hiking of the petroleum products prices when the the travels are now resuming. So they are saying that uh, maybe. They, they will just uh, have to cope with the hard situations here. But I'm just being told that the Boda Boda chairman is here. Just as shortly, if you could just engage him. Pengine ndugu, utoleza kwa ufupi sana. Bei ya mafuta inapana na nini kama wa udumu wa pikipiki na magari. Mutakuwa pengine manafirika vipi? Asad sana. Wa majina na eto William Wafula. Mimi ni organizing secretary wa Central Rift. Chama kile kinasipamia matatu. Wakati ya sere likuwe mefungwa. Mafuta yalikuwa chini. Na saa hii wamefungulia mambo ya Nairobi wamefungulia kila mahali serikali imefungua. Hiyo hiyo serikali tena imekuja imepandiza dini, imepandiza mafuta. Maisha yamekuwa ngumu kwa wananchi wa kawaida. Kwa sababu wakati serikali inapandiza mafuta lazima fair etapanda. Huyo huyo mwananchi wa kawaida mwenye ameshindwa kununua mpaka sukari unga kwake atapandiziwa nini? Fair yake. Itakuwa na shida kubwa sana kwa wananchi wa kawaida. Tunaomba serikali yaangalie vile inaweza kupunguza hii mafuta sio kupandiza kwa sababu maisha yamekuwa ngumu ukiangalia biashara hapa inafungwa biashara mingi imefungwa supermarket zimefungwa hapa wholesale zinafungwa tumelia tumesema hata tumeomba kama na wetu akubali hata sisi mambo ya mambo ya transport gari surudi hapa gari moja moja ili tuweze kufanya kazi na tusaidie wafanye biashara kwa sababu biashara inaandamana na transport. Sawa sawa. Pengine tutakuwa tukizungumza baadaye kwa sababu ya wakati. Yeah. Well, this is just a clear indication and uh, an early warning for Kenyans to just ensure that they belt up as they gear up for quite hard economic conditions that lie ahead. But uh, remember that uh, they will be affected of course with the hiking of the petroleum products prices. Alano Chanda, thank you so much. Indeed, Kenyans will feel the effect of the increased fuel prices, especially Kenyans using public service vehicles. But then I'd like us to go back to a top story, and that is uh, the uh, it is back for you know Kenya's um, aviation.